When I first started with this process, I had this grand conception of steaming the windrow like this out ahead of the baler. <clears throat> and so I, I put together this, this little contraption that had some walking spikes that would walk down through the windrow with steam coming out the end of them. The first machine was some kind of like a, a hay tender machine. It was kind of like a big old claw thing that was shooting steam out of there. And we'd run that over the windrow and then we'd come along with the baler. And by then the steam was gone, so that didn't work. The problem was is the steam would go into the hay real nice and the windrow looked good, but then as soon as the baler picked it up and started bringing it up over the pickup, the, the moisture just came right back out of it. And one day the boss, Brent Hunter, uh, we were out trying to get this thing to work and it just wasn't putting the moisture in the hay the way that it needed to in the bale. So that's when the idea came along and we decided, listen, we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to put this thing together so that, the, so that it shoots the steam on the hay the very moment that it goes right into the baler. That way we, we, we won't lose the, the moisture because steam just evaporates very quickly. Then the hay was pliable and it just was uh, just the way you wanted it, as if it had dew on it. That, that was really the key that, that we were able to crack this thing with, was putting the steam right in the baler instead of in the windrow ahead of the baler. When you run an analysis on hay, over 60, 65% of the nutritional value is in the leaves. Leaf retention is huge. You gotta have moisture on there when you're picking it up. The more leaves you can keep in the hay, then the better the quality of hay will be. Because of the steam, we're retaining those leaves where all the protein is at. That's where your money comes from.